In this episode, we're going to install a supercharged CDI kit. Stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is try to find a good spot to put the CDI. As you can see, this one has two stages. We have the first stage capacitor, the second stage capacitor, and it means a little more rooms needed on the frame than a typical kit. Um, when you're mounting these, usually you want to put them up here or over here just so that the wires don't run against the exhaust or vibrate on the motor. Okay, so now that we got our uh, location picked out right here, what we're going to do is just grab a couple of zip ties and then secure that in place. And then an extra helpful tip here, you want to use a pliers to try to get a couple extra clicks and that'll help make sure you have a nice secure hold. And then we're just going to clip off the extra with the wire cutters. Now we'll just repeat the same process for the first capacitor. Okay, so now that we got that installed, we're going to go ahead and then cut our wires to length. We're just going to line them up and then see uh, what the right length is. And uh, basically, we're just going to cut it with an extra, well, I'd say, inch more than we need. And then that'll give us some room to make a splice. So now we're just going to go ahead and strip the wires here. You can use the crimp connectors and push on connectors that come with the kit, but uh, they do vibrate loose over time, so it's always best to solder your connections. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and twist the wires together. Okay, so now that we got our wires twisted together, we're going to go ahead and solder them. Um, if you're not familiar with how to solder, go check out my 12 volt generator video. It's covered in detail in that video. All right, so now we're just gonna let the wires cool down for a second and then tape them off with some electrical tape that makes sure that we don't get a short circuit anywhere. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and secure these wires to the frame with some more zip ties. This just makes sure that they stay out of the way of the pedals and then also the chains and the hot exhaust. Okay, so now the last wire to attach is the spark plug wire. Now you can see I have quite a bit of slack here. So what I'm going to do is just line this up with the path that I'm going to take for the wire. And then I'm going to cut it to length. And then keep in mind you have a two inch long boot. So I'm going to cut it about an inch short so that I have a little bit extra to play with here uh, in case I need it. Okay, and we'll slide that heat shield down. And then we just unscrew the boot here. That's all it is. It's just basically a wood screw into copper wire. So uh, very easy to take off and shorten. See, that's pretty much all there is to it. So we don't need that. <laughs> We're just going to push that wire in there. Make sure the heat shield is out of the way. And then just screw the boot back on. Okay. There we go. And then we'll just clip that right into place. And that's how you install a Performance CDI. 
All right, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to stay subscribed and click that bell notification if you haven't already. You're going to want to see the next episodes in this uh, little documentary series. It's going to be a lot of fun, and things are going to start moving and running on that bike. So stay tuned. See you guys next time.